In this design tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do an epic Atlantic design. So, hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a super easy Atlantic design in Photoshop. Okay, so let's get right into it. As you guys can see over here on the right hand side, I already have my group open, everything is done already. And again, today we have a few steps. So this tutorial is a bit similar than we had with the Stanley tutorial. So if you guys like this, also have a look at Stanley. All right, so also let's open and close everything here so we can actually see everything from scratch. I'm gonna go right away into the background layer and you guys can see today I've played a little bit more around with colors and with the background before I went into the design. So let's start right away fresh. We're gonna create a new empty layer. I'm gonna move that all the way to the top so we can actually see this and I'm gonna make a bit of space here so we got, can actually see the layers here. So I'm gonna write here background, that is now my start. Basically the first layer that we have will just be a white background layer. If you are a person that is completely new to canvas sizes and how to even get to this stage, have a look on the channel, there's another tutorial teaching you how to work with canvas sizes and presets. All right, great, so we've got the background layer. I'm gonna quickly go to the marking tool, select all of this, and make a nice big selection and inside of the selection right click we're going to fill this up with white content all right so under the contents great white command d get out of the selection i'm working with a mac so when i say command all windows people please press control when i say command okay next step again i went back online and i found this pretty cool image here on the web looks pretty cool just some grass um, yeah, I'm going to start right away working with that. So my first step that I did now, often um, throughout this Photoshop process, I jump in between layers and still tweak a little bit. My first step that I did was actually to go and just desaturate this image a little bit. So over here, you can see I did a few different steps, but first of all, I'm going to go and desaturate it. So let's head over to adjustments. We're going to go to hue and saturation, and I'm going to just make a bit of space. We're going to take the saturation layer all the way down to just like minus 84 or something around there. We can still play with this after we're done. Great. Next step again to adjustments and I basically went to the curves adjustment layer. Select curves and now I just wanted to flatten the blacks a little bit. So I'm going to make a bit of space again. I'm first going to put an anchor point now on our curve path here. So basically put an anchor point maybe over here and the second one over here. And I'm literally just going to take the black points and drag them up all the way. Taking the second anchor point as well and doing this also really roughly, take a bit more time when you do this. Okay, like so, so they just look a bit more flat. And as well, I'm gonna take here the grass layer now and just take the opacity down a little bit from this layer. So the white just stands through a little bit. Okay, a little bit back and a little bit more a little bit more. Again, I think that was around 90%. Yeah, we're getting close now. Great, let's also quickly have a look here at our first curve that I've created. So you guys can see it looks pretty much the same as with our second curve here. Again, I can actually tweak this up a little bit more. Okay, so let's also go back down. That was just desaturating, as you guys can see, first of all. And then I've added here just again another fill color. So what I'm going to do is basically go all the way down to the bottom. Let's just make a bit of space. So you guys can actually also see what's happening. I'm going to select curves again here. And on top of that, I'm going to go to the adjustment layers down here at the bottom. I'm going to select again a solid color. And I want to get a little bit of a purple color going on here, a little bit of a darker purple. So you guys can also get the dimensions down here. Let's tweak this a bit more. I think even a little bit darker. Let's into the blues already. Okay, you guys can also get these values down here. Okay, and next step that I want to do now is just take this and put this all the way to color. So you guys can see now this is affecting already the whole image with the color, but it's a little bit too strong. So I'm gonna take the opacity all the way down just to like a little bit, yeah, something around 20%. And now again, I'm going to go back to hue and saturation and just tweak the saturation up again. So we're getting a bit more greens back here into our image. So it's a mix between, yeah, a little bit of magentas, uh, purple and green. 
Let's also head back over here. I'm going to still tweak this a little bit. So I'm basically looking at my image now and taking the slider up a little bit. And that looks all right. Okay. Great. So I'm happy with that already. I'm going to select all of these layers here. Press Command or basically just Shift on the keyboard. And now Command G to put it all together in a group. Okay. And I'm just going to write here background. And that's our first step just for creating the background. Great, so we can turn everything off. You guys already got the point, so that's how I created the background. Now, I'm going to start with the design on top. Basically, back to view, a new guide, horizontally, 50%, okay. And as well, a new guide and vertical as well, so I can find the center point of my canvas here. Again, we've talked about this in every tutorial already. All right, so we've got the center. Now, first step that I want to do is again with shapes, just create a really cool triangle. Again, I'm gonna go to the left hand side, select the shapes over here, custom shapes, and as well also go to the shape library. Also have a look in the description down below. I've added again a little website where you can download more shapes, but you should have a few already in your Photoshop standard library. So I'm going to select this solid triangle over here. I'm going to hit OK and hold Shift on the keyboard so it's equally expanding and just make a nice big triangle over here. Great. So I've already created it. It's going to be filled up. I'm going to take the Move tool. Let's just move it into the center here. Great. So I want to actually make this a transparent. So let's select that and also go back to the Shape tool. I'm going to go back to the application bar, which is here on the top, go back to fill. And first of all, we're going to select transparent. So it's shine through and you will just see a stroke outline. Let's head over to stroke, which is right next to that. And I'm just going to give that a white color here. Great. So again, the size a little bit too thick. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller, something around maybe one to 1.5. This is pretty similar like we did with the Stanley tutorial. Okay, and you can really be creative with this. I'm maybe going to make this 0 0.5, 5, 0. Okay, great. Happy with that. I'm going to press Command, Shift, and H to hide the path outlines. They're a little bit distracting. And now, for the next step, again, take the text tool. I'm first of all going to make a big selection here, and I'm just going to write Atlantic. And today, again, I know it's grass, has nothing to do with Atlantic, but it's just for the purpose of the tutorial that's just random so don't worry about that okay Atlantic we've got all of that selected I'm gonna select all of that and again today I've got the font already selected so it's basically how fit you guys can also find the font in the description down below again I'm gonna select that also now for the width I'm gonna choose light so it's just a little bit locker light and easy and yeah accept it let's also take the move tool and I'm going to position it somewhere here into the center. A little bit more up. I want the T and the E to be just a little bit on the sides. So yeah, I'm just doing this also a bit quicker. Take a bit more time when you do this. Great, so Atlantic stands in already. We can now go to the shape layer here. And remember, it's still a smart object or part of a smart object. So I'm going to hit right click first to rasterize it. So just right click and rasterize over here. So now I can basically delete items from this little shape. Again, I'm going to go to the move tool, select or basically just make a nice selection here with the marking tool, sorry, not the move tool. And I'm going to hit delete. So we're breaking those lines here from the triangle. And again, having a look that the distance is pretty much the same. Again, command D, get out of the selection. And that looks great so far. Again, for me, the guidelines are a bit distracting. So I'm going to go to clear guides and just move them out of my way. And I'm pretty happy so far. So next up that I'm still going to do is just put a little bit of text at the bottom and the top. So for that, again, the text tool, I'm going to make a selection over here. And this time I'm going to write again something with since or established. So in capital letters, again, established. Okay dot and maybe yeah 1990 as well okay I'm going to select all with command a let's also maybe just make this a bit smaller and I think light and healthy Neue also works pretty good so I'm going to stick with healthy Neue and also with the thickness with light again ultra light might be a little bit too small okay I'm going to accept it take the move tool and just move that into the position here it's a little bit too big still so I'm going to make it a bit smaller, again with the text tool, select all of it, 
and just a little bit smaller like around seven as well let's have a look at the character box here with our tracking which is set to 240 sorry i didn't even mention that atlantic here is also set to 240 so just remember that and if you don't have the character box please go to window here's the character box okay back to our text here again let's just move that a bit down so that's somewhere around there that's good and now I'm going to press Command J, duplicate that layer, just move it all the way down. So we've got the same text now at the bottom. And here I'm going to put again the slogan or something around this Atlantic brand. So again, select the text tool. And I'm maybe going to write now in capital letters, premium quality or something like that. Premium quality, great. Okay, I'm going to make this a bit bigger. So a little bit bigger and I'm also going to make the selection a bit bigger and we're going to stretch this a little bit with the tracking. So a bit more premium quality. Accept it first of all and again obviously Healthy Tika Neue font and everything is pretty much the same. Let's move that up a little bit yeah, and that looks pretty much good so far. Great, if this would have been a little bit too big, I would just make it a bit smaller and push the tracking out just a little bit more. But overall pretty happy so far. Again, last step that I'll stu still do here is just take the shape layer, press Command G. I'm going to rename this and put this into shape. And it's well established and the rest of the text, Command G. And I'm just going to write here text. Great. So again, all of that done. Let's head over to the background. One last step that I still want to do is maybe just turn this into a black layer. So let's have a look here if I've done that before as well. Nope, I haven't, but what I want to do is just make this a little bit more darker. So the darks are a little bit too flat. So again, double click on here and we're going to get back to our curve. And I'm just literally going to take the blacks over here and make them a bit more darker. Okay, like so. Great. So they're just a little bit dark, a little bit more contrast over here. Great, but that's it so far, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the thumbs up there. Share it with all your buddies who are new to this. And don't forget to subscribe. So thanks again, guys, for watching. I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.